Salut les amis, my name is Maria and I am the founder of yourfrenchhorner.com. Welcome to Q&A Sunday. Today's question is how to use the passé simple, which is the French past tense. So let's get started. Bon, on y va les amis, how and when to use the passé simple. Let's go over how, um, actually let's start with when to use the passé simple, okay? Um, it is primarily used in formal writing and formal speaking to express a completed past action event or situation. Uh, in conversation or in informal writing, the passé composé is used instead of the passé simple to express the past. If you are not familiar with the passé simple, I'll give you three examples. Check out the blog post and you'll see them there. But I'll read it for you. One, les femmes organisèrent une marche. Les femmes organisèrent une marche. Women planned a march. Organiser, organiser. Au passé simple. All right. Now, how to use the passé simple? The passé simple of regular verbs is formed by dropping the infinitive ending, which is either er, ir, re, and by adding the following endings. Let's start with the er endings. For example, parler. To talk. For the first person ending, a i tu ending a s il ou elle ending a nu am vu at il ou elle er. Example here with the verb parler. Je parlais, tu parlas, il ou elle parla, nous parlâmes. Vous parlat, et il ou elle parler. Now let's go over the IR, RE endings. Je, ending IS, tu, ending IS, il ou elle, ending IT, nous, im, vous, it, il ou elle, ir. Example. Let's start with finir. Je finis, tu finis, il ou elle finit, nous finîmes, vous finites, ils finir. Now let's go over the R, R, E ending with vendre. Je vendis, tu vendis, il ou elle vendit, nous vendîmes, vous vendites, ils vendirent. Please keep in mind that uh, spelling changes can occur in the passé simple. Verbs ending in G, E, R change G to G, E before A to maintain the sound of soft G. Example, manger to eat. Je mangeais, tu manges, il mangea. Nous mangeâmes, vous mangeâtes, ils mangèrent. 2. The verbs ending in C-E-R change the C to C-C-D before A to maintain the sound of soft C. Example. Avancer. Depending on the context, it means um, to move forward or to lend something. So, avancer, j'avançais, tu avanças, il avança, nous avançâmes, vous avançâtes, ils avancèrent. D'accord les amis, on y va, on continue uh, the passé simple of irregular verbs. This is fun. Pronoun. Je, irregular ending, S, tu, S, il ou elle, T, nous, accent, M, E, S, vous, accent, T, E, S, il ou elle, R, E, N, T. For example, pouvoir, pu plus, irregular ending, 
je peux, tu peux, il ou elle peut, nous pouvons, vous pouvez, il ou elle peut. Vivre, to live. Vécu, je vécu, tu vécu, il ou elle vécu, nous vécum, vous vécut, il ou elle vécu. Now, keep in mind that most Irregular verbs with a past participle ending. For example, avoir eu, vendu, uh, vendre, vendu, falloir, fallu. I will use that past participle in the, as the past um, simple stem. Um, I'll go over a few examples here. Uh, avoir eu, vivre vécu, savoir su. Devoir du, falloir, fallu, lire, lu, boire, bu, connaître, connu, courir, couru, croire, cru, pleuvoir, plu, pouvoir, pu, recevoir, reçu, valoir, valu, vouloir, voulu. Now, as always, there are exceptions, and in this case, you have to memorize them. Here's a list of a few regular verbs that you have to know by heart. So, um, I'll just read it quickly so you know, unless you're familiar with the, the, the sound of it, right? Venir, vin, faire, fi, mourir, moru, naître, naki, être, fu, voir, Vie, écrire, écrivi, craindre, craigni, ouvrir, ouvri, joindre, joigni, peindre, peigni, construire, construisi, vaincre, vainqui, um, traduire, traduisi, tenir, tant, souffrir, souff. Hey. All right, that's it for today f with um, the passé simple. I hope it's clear enough for you guys. But um, don't forget to go over to your French uh, slash blog or uh, click on the link below this video uh, and it will take you straight to the blog post where you, you'll be able to download the cheat sheet. So, um, also, don't forget, there are a few tips that can help you. First, um, it is translated just like the passé composé. Second, it, it is only used in formal writing and very formal speaking. So if you're just in a regular conversation or an informal writing, just use the passé composé instead of the passé simple. And last but not least, unless you're an advanced French learner, you should not attempt to master this tense. Okay? That is it for today. So um, don't forget to visit the, um, our free resource library over at yourfrenchwarmer.com slash library to download this cheat sheet as well as the practice exercise that can help you get a little more comfortable with this tense. So once again, thanks for watching this video. If you like it and you, if you think that it will help other French learners like yourself, please do me a favor and share it. Thank you so much. I'll see you again next week. Merci, à bientôt.